हेलो साइराम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट टुडे विल बी डूइंग पार्ट थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर फोर नाउ इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू कंपेयर टू अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस यूजिंग एलसीएम मेथड सो टुडे अगेन विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू कंपेयर टू अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस बट विद द सेकेंड मेथड दैट इज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन मेथड नाउ इन दिस मेथड वी डोंट हैव टू फाइंड द LCM. We just have to cross multiply to compare the fractions. Okay. So let us uh, now to compare the fractions by cross multiplication. You have to follow the follow some steps. The first step is you have to write two fractions side by side, and then you will cross multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. and then third step is to compare the first product with the second product okay so the first step is to write the fraction side by side the second step is to cross multiply and then the third step is to compare the first product with the second product of the fraction now here one thing you have to keep it in mind children that is you don't have to change the order of the fraction always compare the first fraction with the second fraction and not vice versa you will keep the fraction as it is okay you will not change the order of the fractions okay now let us start with an example here you have to compare 6 upon 11 and 13 upon 15 so according to the cross multiplication method what is the first step the first step is to write the fraction side by side so first you will write the fraction here that is 6 upon 11 and then 13 upon 15 okay now what is the second step the second step is you will cross multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction and again the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction okay so here you will multiply 6 into 15 when you multiply 6 into 15 what is the answer you get it is 90 okay and then the second fraction that is 11 into 13 when you multiply 11 into 13 what is the answer you get you get the answer has 140 3 okay now your children 90 is smaller than 143 okay 90 is smaller than 140 the product that is 90 is the answer of the first fraction that is when you multiply 6 into 15 so here you can say that 6 upon 11 is smaller than 13 upon 15 okay so when you cross multiply you will not change the order of the fraction here now 90 is smaller than 143 so you can see that 6 upon 11 is smaller than 13 upon 15 okay just check with this line when you you can check here i have given you the answer again you have to multiply that is 6 into 15 when you multiply you get it as 90 11 into 13 is 143 now 90 is smaller than 143 so you can see that 6 upon 11 is smaller than 11 upon 6 upon 11 is smaller than 13 upon 15 okay it's very simple you just have to cross multiply now here it is a mixed fraction that is 1 3 upon 4 and 1 3 upon 5 now when you have a mixed fraction what you have to do is first convert it into improper fraction now when you convert it into improper fraction that is 4 ones are 4 you'll multiply here plus 3 okay this we have already learned how to uh, convert into improper fractions so your answer is 4 ones are 4 plus 3 that is 7 upon 4 and for the second fraction 1 5 multiplied by 1 Plus three, so five plus five into one is five plus three. That is eight upon five. Okay. 
Now you got two improper fractions. Yes. Now what is the second step? You have to cross multiply. So 7 into 5. Okay. So you will multiply 7 into 5 is equal to 35. Okay. The second cross multiplication that is 4 into 8 or 8 into 4. 8 Fosa is 32. Now here 35 is greater than 32. So you can see that the first fraction that is 1 3 upon 4 is greater than 1 3 upon 5. Okay. So 1 3 upon 4 is greater than 1 3 upon 5. Fine. So just you will see the working in the second slide here. 1 3 upon 4 when you convert it into an improper fraction. 1 into 4 plus 3 upon 4 that will give you 7 upon 4. Then again 1 3 upon 5 when you convert it into improper fraction you will get the answer as 8 upon 5. When you cross multiply the two fractions 7 into 5 is 35 and 4 into 8 is 30. So, 35 is greater than 32. So, you can see that 7 upon 4 is greater than 8 upon 5. Or you can also write it as 1 3 upon 4 is greater than 1 3 upon 5. Okay, let us start with our exercise sums. That is exercise 4.1. This you have to do it in your notebook students. Now, here the first sum is compare the following fractions by cross multiplication method just now what we saw in the example the two fractions are 9 upon 13 and 11 upon 14 so we'll go step by step so first we'll write the fraction side by side that is 9 upon 13 and 11 upon 14 now your second step is you will cross multiply now when you multiply 9 into 14 9 multiplied by 14 will give you 126 at the same time when you multiply 13 into 11 you'll get the answer has or 11 into 13 also you can write 13 into 11 you'll get the answer has 143 now here 126 is less than 143 okay so you can say that 9 upon 13 is less than 11 upon 14 yes so step by step we'll go first we'll write the fraction side by side then you'll cross multiply and then you will compare the fractions so this is a slide we can just solve it and check your answer from this slide okay coming to the next sum 13 upon 18 and 17 upon 47 so okay so we'll start here we'll write the fraction first 13 upon 18 and then 17 upon 47 then we'll cross multiply 13 into 47 now when you multiply 13 into 47 you get the answer has 611 and then 18 into 17 when you multiply you get the answer has 306 okay so here 611 is greater than 306 so you can say that your first fraction that is 13 upon 18 is greater than 17 upon 47 so students do not change the order of the fraction just cross multiply and then compare the fractions yes so here is a slide for you check your answer with the slide okay so step by step you will write it and then compare the fractions coming to the next sum f1 6 5 upon 11 and 5 8 upon 13. Now here this is a mixed fraction. So first thing what you will do is you will convert it into improper 
fraction. Now to convert it into improper fraction, you multiply 11 into 6, that is 66, plus 5. So your first fraction will become 71 upon 11. Second one is 13 into 5 plus 8. So that will be 7, 73 upon 13. Okay, so now what you will do is, you will cross multiply 71 into 13 first. When you multiply 71 into 13, you get the answer has 923. And when you multiply 11 into 73, you get the answer has 803. Now here... 923 is greater than 803. So you can say that your first fraction that is 6, 5 upon 11 is greater than 5, 8 upon 13. Okay. So solve it and then just check with this slide whether you are done the sum correctly okay now the next sum put the correct sign you have to put the correct sign with the greater smaller or equal to sign again you will compare the fraction by this method that is using a cross multiplication method now here the fraction is 7 upon 8 and 21 upon 24 so first you will cross multiply 7 into 24 first now when you multiply 7 into 24 you get the answer as 168. Yes. The second fraction, 8 into 21. You get the answer as 168. So the product of the first fraction and the second fraction when you multiply is the same. So here you will put is equal to sign. That is 7 upon 8 is equal to 21 upon 24. Okay, so solve it aside and then put the correct sign. So, we're coming to the second sum. 38 upon 45 and 16 upon 35. So, here again cross multiply first. 38 into numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. 38 into 35. Now, when you multiply 38 into 35, your answer is 1,300. 30. The same way when you multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction, your answer is 720. Now here, 1330 is greater than 720. That means your fraction 38 upon 45 is greater than 16 upon 35. So, which sign you will put here? You will put the greater sign for the first fraction. That is, 38 upon 45 is greater than 16 upon 35. Yes, next sum here for you is a mixed number. 8, 9 upon 14 and 8, 6 upon 15. So, first what we will do is, we will convert it into improper fraction. When we convert it into improper fraction, Multiply 14 into 8 plus 9 here. So, when you multiply and then add the numerator, you will get the answer as 121 upon 14. Okay. For the second fraction, 15 into 8 plus 6. So, when you multiply and add the numerator, you will get the answer as 126 upon 15. Okay. So, now here... Again, okay, now the second step for you that is cross multiply 121 into 15. Your answer is 1815. Now, when you multiply 14 into 126, 
your answer is 1764 now here 1815 is greater than 1764 that means your first fraction that is 8 9 upon 14 is greater than 8 6 upon 15 okay so which sign you will put here you will put the greater sign yes so you will put the greater sign for the first fraction okay now coming to the next one 31 upon 39 and 17 upon 21. Yes. So, we will start with the first step. 31 upon 39 and 17 upon 21. It is placed, the fractions are placed here. Second step, we will cross multiply. So, when you cross multiply, you will get the answer as 31 into 21. When you multiply, you will get the answer as 651. Now, when you multiply 39 into 17, you will get the answer as 663. Now, here 651 is smaller than 663. So, you can say that 31 upon 39 is smaller than 17 upon 20. 1. Okay. So, which sign you will put here? We will put the smaller sign. Yes. Now, based on this method of cross multiplication, home assignment for you, which you have to do it in your homework part without fail. Because you have to practice all these sums. So, compare the following fractions by cross multiplication method. 3 upon 8 and 5 upon 7, 15 upon 24 and 17 upon 32, third one is 31 upon 52 and 28 upon 36 and the last one is 2, 3 upon 5 and 8, 7 upon 9. So, practice all the sums and do it in your homework part. Okay. So, meet you in the next class with a new topic. Thank you for today and happy Navratri to everyone. Bye.